Gemini New Moon Circle here on Mary YouTube. Shout out to my 3HO International family, my Global Moon Circle family. Thank you all for being here to honor this Gemini New Moon with me. And so this Gemini New Moon is actually the first new moon after it's kind of closing the portal of eclipse season. And eclipse season being a very powerful transformational time, the first new moon to follow eclipse season and kind of close it out is uh, an especially powerful new moon. And wow, this definitely feels like a time of transition, a time of transformation, a time of change and an opportunity for a total reset and a total recalibration at this time. And so we'll talk a little more about it this evening as our circle goes on, but let's take a moment to just get grounded into our bodies and to open the circle by calling in the seven directions. So wherever you are, find a comfortable seat. Take a moment, lift up on the right hip, place the right sitting bone down. Maybe lift up on the left hip, place the left sitting bone down. Find that balance in between. Anchoring yourself here in the center. Take the palms down on the knees in a gesture of grounding. Close your eyes, roll them up to the third eye point with a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up the belly, the ribs, the chest the lungs, the heart, inhale deeply, reaching up through the crown of the head. And exhale slowly on this first one, sigh it out the mouth, let something go. <sighs> Two more long deep breaths, deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Inhale. balanced and centered here in this sacred safe space of this circle. You are supported. Turn and face the east as we open our circle by calling in the seven directions. Honor the east. The season of spring. Element of fire. The void, the great mystery, the new beginnings, and an infinite possibility. Honor the sound. The season of summer. The element of earth. Lead 
back into the comfort of your foundation. Honor the great spirit. The divine spirit within. Feel your heartbeat. And it connect your heartbeat with the heartbeat of the earth. Open the field. Call in the allies. The seven directions. your right palm over the top. Close your eyes with a deep breath into the heart, inhaling deeply through your nose. And exhale. As I always like to do, I drew a card for us for our circle this evening to kind of set the tone. And it was very interesting because I grabbed this deck, which I've been grabbing this deck a lot lately, the Shamanic Healing Oracle deck from my friend Madeline. Madeline, you rock. Thank you for this. I love it. And I opened up the deck, and the card that was flipped up on top was uh, card number one. And so I took all the cards out and I shuffled and shuffled and cut the deck and moved them around. And then I cut the deck and flipped it up to my card and there it was, the same card, number one again. So I think it was really meant to be. And as always, it's just the perfect card for this evening's circle. Number one, Card number one from the Shamanic Healing Deck is movement into balance. Movement into balance. And so let's see what it says about movement into balance. It says, the sun balances the moon just as the earth, the water, and the sky remain in precious balance. So you are moving from unbalanced ideas and lifestyles into a more balanced way of being. A situation may call for some tweaking to adjust it into a balanced mode. Look at the energy and emotions you're putting out into the universe, your world, your relationships, or goals. Balance that with the energy you are allowing yourself to receive. The body inherently tries to maintain a state of balance. So do our souls. If you're not receiving enough, you may be unconsciously giving more to restore, to restore a perceived balanced state. Step out of that automatic response and listen to your guides and your soul for what this situation truly warrants. And so at times, perhaps, we feel like we'll bring ourselves into balance by giving, especially when you're dealing with people who are empaths, and many of us are, and your, your reaction is to give more, give more, give more, when perhaps the way to achieve that balance is to be more open to receive. And so take your palms up on the knees, in a gesture of receptivity, and let's just take a moment together to open ourselves up to be more receptive. Close your eyes, take a deep inhale into the heart, and exhale. Repeating after me, either silently or out loud, I am open to receive. I allow myself to receive. I am deserving of receiving. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We'll do this three times. I am open to receive. 
I allow myself to receive, giving yourself permission. And I am deserving of receiving, reminding yourself that you deserve to receive and it's okay to be open and allow yourself to receive. One more time, deep breath in, deep breath out. As we move into balance, I am open to receive. I allow myself to receive. And I am worthy and deserving of receiving. Deep inhale, deep exhale, and just sit with it here for a moment. Now let's talk a little more about the Gemini new moon. And so the sign of Gemini, it's an air sign, and it's often thought of kind of an intellectual sign. Um, it's definitely a sign of the mind, of thoughts, of mental activity and imagination. It's also a sign of flexibility. And you also have the twins, Gemini the twins, and so it's a sign that calls us to reflect upon the dualities of life around us. The duality of your inner world and the peace within and the outer world and perhaps chaos outside and finding that balance. And so, Gemini, when you look at it, it really is a sign of balance as well with these twins and the duality. And uh, so this movement into balance becomes really, really important. And this, you know, again, this card is just perfect for kind of what we're going for here. As the thoughts uh, you know, kind of carry you away and as you perhaps get in your head, I know... It's a time in the world where there is just an information overload. And as much as Gemini loves information, uh, you know, I think we all can get to a point where we're like, stop, stop, time out, <laughs> too much information. And I know I'm feeling it. Uh, comment below, let me know, are you feeling it as well? And, you know, at times it can almost make us feel like we're going crazy. And I've had moments like that as well. And I just want you guys to know, you know, again, comment, let me know, are you feeling this or am I crazy? Um, I kind of feel like I want to put this message out there for anyone who might need to hear it, that you are not alone, that you are not crazy, and that you are supported. And so please, please at this time, remember this. Remember that our thoughts are things. You know, that's something the shamans say, thoughts are things. And what they mean by that is, I've mentioned it before, your thoughts really can control your reality. We are here on this planet, on this earth at this time, and they say we chose to come here. Our souls chose to be here at this wild and crazy ride of a transformational time here in the world, a time of transition, a time of great change, and with our thoughts, we have great opportunity to not necessarily control our reality in a way of, you know, control, because you don't want to try to control too much. You want to keep that flexibility of Gemini in mind as well as you're working with your thoughts, but can you balance out the idea of setting intentions and putting that out into the world through your thoughts, inviting manifestation in that way? And can you stay open to allow the universe to send in whatever it is you need right here, right now, in this moment, and be open to that? So take a moment to kind of digest that information. <laughs> In a, in a small dose kind of way that's more manageable and allow your imagination to step in and to take hold and allow your imagination to bring you to a place of openness and flexibility to where as the information comes in, it's no longer overwhelming, but perhaps you can find a way to management by, manage it by choosing the thoughts 
that resonate with you, that support who you are, that make you feel good. And the thoughts that come in that are of a negative nature or take you to a darker place that you, you know, don't really feel is, is identifying with you and who you are and resonating with your being, let those thoughts go. And as you choose those thoughts from day to day, from hour to hour, from minute to minute, you always have a choice. Gemini is also a lot about, about choices. And you can think of Gemini and the twins as, you know, a path that forks in the road where you've got two choices in front of you. Maybe that's the duality and do you choose the positive one? Do you choose the negative one? Do you choose an old uh, negative story about yourself that you tell yourself that you're maybe stuck in the past, a pattern that you perhaps have repeated in the past, but you know what, over here you've got this positive choice of changing that pattern and taking a new path. So just remember that you always have these options before you and that thoughts are things and it's up to you to choose how this manifestation unfolds before you and which path will you choose. A lot of times the path that's, you know, the positive path of expansion might be the one that's the path less traveled by and it might be maybe a little scary and unfamiliar. But that other path of familiarity might take you to a repetition of the same pattern over and over and over. It might seem more comfortable to go that way because you know it, you've been there, you've done that. But just think about the idea of choosing a new path. Because with this powerful new moon closing out this eclipse season, you have a powerful opportunity here for a new beginning and a new opportunity and a reset and a recalibration. Bring your left palm to the heart center, place the right palm over the top. If it's not already there, close your eyes and take a moment to reflect on that path and picture that path before you in two directions. and. Think about maybe a couple of opportunities that have come up in your life, maybe a situation that you're dealing with in your life, and the idea of moving into balance around that situation. And what are your choices? And then, rather than allowing your head to choose for you, can you feel into your heartbeat and allow your heart to help you make that choice? What is your heart telling you? Perhaps that's more important than what your head is telling you. We get caught up in our head and that's when we choose the familiar pattern, the familiar pattern. Maybe our heart will guide us in a new direction. And once you start traveling in that new direction, maybe that unfamiliarity becomes more a sense of adventure and new opportunities open up before you. And so, just take a moment to reflect here and set an intention for yourself. This new moon, you've got time, you're going to be in this energy for another solid, you know, 24 hours plus leading up to the new moon, which actually peaks on Monday, May 30th at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So take a moment to set yourself a new moon intention perhaps an intention around a new beginning, a new choice, a new opportunity for yourself. And allow yourself, as you set this intention, to be open to receive it. I think a lot of times we set intentions and then in the back of our mind, there goes the mind again, and it'll tell us, oh, you're not really worthy of that, or oh, you, you couldn't do that, or oh, take the simpler, take the familiar path because uh, we know that way. This other way could be really scary. We don't know what lies ahead. Maybe take a moment to calm your mind, to get out of that heady air energy and into the passionate energy of your heart. The 
heart always knew. And one of the ways that I found the most miraculous and powerful and consistently productive and awesome uh, to get there, a way to get to presence, is breath work. And we've been doing this breath work for a while now. I hope that it's bringing you uh, the presence, the neutrality, the clarity, the awareness, the sovereignty that I've found in this breath work, the Wim Hof breathing. Today, for me, I believe it's day 179 of my 1,000 day challenge to myself to do this as a meditation of mastery for 1,000 days. And so today, day 179, even if it's your first day, I have no advantage over you. This is a breath work that is available to everyone of every level, beginners on up, and everyone can find benefit from it. So just give it a chance. Take the palms down on the knees in a gesture of grounding, back to that gesture of grounding. Make sure you have a comfortable seat. If you're sitting on the earth, find that balance between the right and left sitting bones. If you're sitting in a chair, plant both feet on the earth to connect you with the earth. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. As you roll them up to your third eye point, deep breath into the heart. Exhale, let it go, relax the jaw, relax the faith and work the face, and we're gonna come into this breath work, which is three rounds of 30 breaths. It's a circular breath. You're gonna inhale deeply. I like to relax the jaw, the face, and kind of inhale through the nose and the mouth. And without pausing at the top, you're gonna to just exhale through the nose and the mouth. And then inhale through the nose and the mouth. And exhale through the nose and the mouth. If you're more comfortable breathing in and out through the nose only, that is fine and a powerful breath as well, a little bit different. And if you wanna just focus on breathing in and out through the mouth, maybe through rounded lips, you can try that as well. I just like to relax everything and just get that really deep breath in and deep breath out and deep breath in and deep breath out. 30 breaths. On the last one, we'll exhale fully and we'll pause and hold the breath out. First breath hold with the breath held out, 90 seconds. Then another round of 30 breaths, circular breaths. And then we come into another breath hold with the breath held out. That one is gonna be for, oh, sorry. First one, 30 seconds. Second one, 60 seconds. Third one, 90 seconds. And then there's an inhale in between as well. I'll guide you through the whole process. Just follow along with me at home and see how this makes you feel. This is the Wim Hof breathing. Take a deep breath in. Find that comfortable seat. Relax. Find that balance. Relax the jaw and the face. Close your eyes. Roll them up to the third eye. Let's begin. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. No pausing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep it smooth. Graceful, keep it going. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep relaxing the body as you breathe. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath. Exhale, two more, inhale, 
Exhale, last one. Deep breath in. Powerful exhale, let it go. Hold the breath out, turn the palms up on the knees. I like to bring the thumb and the forefinger together in Gyan Mudra. Backs of the wrists on the knees. Hold the breath out. 30 seconds. Reconnect with your heartbeat. See if you can slow it down. Relax in the body. And then take a deep breath in. Really filling up the lungs, the ribs, the chest, the heart, palms down on the knees to ground you as you hold the breath in. Let it spread across the chest, drop the shoulders, open the heart. Reaching up through the crown of the head, hold it. And exhale, let it go. Relax, take a breath to reset if you need it. Keeping the palms down on the knees for grounding. Relax the face, coming into our second round. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. You close the eyes and focus on the third eye as you breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going. yawn here and there. That's perfectly normal with breath work. Just go with the flow. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep it going. down on the knees to ground you. Coming into round three. We got this. Circular breath. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Expand the belly as you inhale. Draw it back to the base of the spine as you exhale. Inhale, 
and exhale like a bellows. Draw the air in, push the air out. Inhale and exhale, keep it going. circular breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Seven more. Bringing the thumb and the pinky together, straighten the other three fingers. Booty mudra, the mudra for communication. Holding the breath out, settling in. 90 seconds. If at any point you feel dizzy or you need to take a breath, you can take in a little sip of air, but see first if you can actually exhale a little sip of air go a little longer, but you're always free to take in a sip of air or a breath if you need to, just listen to your body, keep relaxing the body, can you feel your heart beating? on the third eye point, allow any thoughts that are coming into your mind to leave, to clear, to exit through the crown of your head, send them up to the sky, up, up, up to the moon, and then take a deep breath in. Inhale deeply, inhale deeply, hold the breath in, let it spread across the chest, drop the shoulders, lift the heart. Down through your sitting bones, reach up through the crown of the head, stretching the spine to the earth to the sky, and then exhale, let it go. Turn the palms up on the knees, back to that gesture of receptivity, pause here, take a breath to reset, and feel that warm wave of chronic life force energy washing over you. and up through your arm, reaching through the fingertips, reach, 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 keep inhaling, keep inhaling, reach, and exhale, begin to shake it out, shake above, shake below, to the right, to the left, out in front, around, clearing out your aura all around you, opening up to the right, opening up to the left, and then inhale, sweep the arms out to either side, press the palms together, exhale, bring them down the center line, thumbs come to the heart center, lower the chin to the chest in a gesture of humility as the head bows to the heart. Releasing the thoughts, 
tuning into your intuition and allowing your heart to be your guide. Releasing the thoughts that would seek to control you and opening up to your imagination that allows you to expand and grow, coming back to your new moon intention. And again, we're still a good 24 hours out from the peak of the new moon and uh, really about a day and a half out. We're still in the energy of it, but if you need a little more time, you want to sleep on it and think about your intention or intentions or add to your intentions. Just kind of be aware and open to those intentions and your intuition over the next day and a half leading up to the new moon. And then, you know, for another 24 hours beyond that, for, for the next few days, stay open to intention. Stay in the space of movement into balance. Stay in the space of calm, noticing how you feel post breath work as opposed to how you might have felt pre breath work. And maybe think about for the next couple of days, giving this breath work a try on a daily basis, even if it's for two days or three days or a week. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of days. Just start small and go from there and see how you feel. I have other videos of this breath work um, on Mary Do Tube as well on youtube.com slash Mary Do Yoga if you want to get into some of the other breath work videos. So let's kind of close up our circle. I wanted to read the Power Path update. I love the updates from Lena Stevens of The Power Path, my teacher and friend. Um, she gives wonderful new moon updates and full moon updates every couple of weeks. Thepowerpath.com is where you can find these. And here's what Lena had to say about the Gemini new moon. Change is the key work for this new moon. This is a transformative time, uncomfortable, challenging, dramatic, intense, and strangely inspiring. It will take some discipline to lighten up, bring in some much needed fun, humor, and community time. Include some self-care and personal comfort in the plan. We still cannot drop the ball on staying focused on positive intentions and doing what it takes to embrace necessary change by adjusting, resetting, and staying seriously engaged in the process of transformation. You should always have the intention of being responsible around the next steps moving forward. This is also a good time for a reality check of your life to see what is working, what isn't, what is yours to deal with and what isn't, and what can finally be released so you can move on. What can you reset? Think it through carefully, make a plan of action, and then do something that shows a commitment to the change. Spiritual discipline, as well as appropriate action, will be rewarded. changes and choices and choosing your path and thoughts are things. It all kind of ties together in the end around this Gemini new moon. And so in closing, before we release the directions, I wanted to share with you a little piece that I have created for my new album. New album's called Trinity. It's coming out on the summer solstice on June 21st. And this is New Moon Lullaby.
breath out. Bring your hands to your heart center. Bring your hands to your heart. Reconnect with your heartbeat. Give thanks to great spirit and thanks to the divine spirit within. Gemini New Moon Circle. We will reconvene in a couple of weeks on Sunday, June 12th. Sunday, June 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern. Back on youtube.com slash yoga on marydotube uh, for the next Moon Circle. Until then, I wish you all New Moon blessings. May all your intentions, may all of them come true and may everything that you can imagine be possible for you. Satnam, Aho, and Namaste.